it's always the same. I know the feeling because I was once there. You feel unique, like nobody has ever suffered the way you have. Back then, the solution and answer was some something that was a mystery to me. One of the most frightening aspects of living with a multiple, multiple sclerosis diagnosis is that there might be prospect of becoming partially or fully paralyzed. I lived with that overwhelming fear for so many years until I started to do something about it. But what I had wanted to start when MS was further along and my myelin loss had become so great, I became paralyzed. Could I have achieved the same amount of recovery? Hey, it's Dave. The reason why some people become paralyzed and others do not is the same reason why one person might suffer greatly from fatigue or vision loss or any other symptom, while another person might not have the same problem. It's the nature of MS is, is that it varies from person to person and is very unpredictable. The common, recommend, or the common recommendation that doctors say is to take things like vitamin D supplements and of course, taking prescription medication. One thing they often say is they, they recommend exercise, but they don't offer any specifics and are just very vague. You know, I am vehement in my dis dedication to weightlifting. I know firsthand it's the way to restore myelin. I can continue to make video after video telling you this. <sighs> but weightlifting is impossible for someone who has myelin loss induced par paralysis. I say that specifically, myelin loss induced paralysis, meaning the paralysis is not caused by a traumatic injury where the nerve has been se severed completely. The nerve has suffered myelin loss, which means that the signals are still being sent, but when they encounter problem area, the signals in the form of electrical impulses encounter that loss and there's no myelin to keep it moving along the nerve flu slowly and fluidly. So, Warrior Office 33 left me a comment saying, my girlfriend is paralyzed by MS. She can't move. So weightlifting? My myelin loss affected different areas and at a, a different severity than to the central nervous system than your girlfriend. You got to my statement about weightlifting, like I was being absurd or something. But exercise is the foundation of healing and recovery process, whether able to move independently or with the assistance of others. Active rehab exercise involves doing a movement on your own, but passive exercise involves exercising or getting assistance to, to your effective limbs through a movement. This is where your girlfriend, as well as other MS patients with paralysis should start. Passive rehab exercise helps because it creates action potentials and 
activates neuroplasticity, the mechanism your brain uses to rewire itself. Neuroplasticity allows other parts of your brain, co still covered with myelin, to create a different pathway for the, the signal to transfer along. It is how to regain movement after MS. She will need to practice passive exercise repetitively on a daily basis. In the beginning, start slow. As she slowly regains small amounts of movement, she'll gradually want to progress to active exercises. Not just for her, but for everyone in MS, progress can be very slow. However, once you start to see twitches and tiny movements start to come back, it will be a great motivator to continue with passive exercise. I went through something similar. I was never complete, completely paralyzed, but I think the way I was going, I would be if I hadn't changed course. As you know, I was born with hemiparesis on my right side. I'm going to relate it to a slightly different condition called hemiplegia. Multiple sclerosis, hemiparesis, and hemiplegia are all part of similar or even the same continuum of central nervous system injuries. All, all of them interfere with movement and sensation. All can be difficult to treat and often severely constrain normal functioning. Now, I know my hemiparesis will never go away fully and it will forever be a small part of my life. In the same way, multiple sclerosis will be too. I was thinking about this while I was brushing my teeth this morning. <laughs> we brush our teeth to prevent cavities and gum disease. I know if I didn't do it, I would be caught in a loop and there might not be a way to return and get back to where I was before. So I just continue to brush my teeth same way, I continue to lift weights and I will continue to lift weights for the rest of my life. And I know your girlfriend is at a, at a very, very hard point right now. Everyone with, with paralysis is at a hard point, but it's about getting back. And I know you can't. I can't go back in time now and practice the lifestyle I do now. All I can do now is change the direction of my future. And my recovery is surprising me more and more every day. I don't know how far this will go. Everything about changing our MS is in our, in our control. So always believe in yourself. I may not know you at this moment, but regardless, I believe in you and I know you can do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss a video. Until the next one.